Hey guys, this is Miss Nicole here. Um, I'm going to be doing a monument themed craft today. Um, we're going to be talking about um, American monuments. Um, so today we are going to make a Washington monument out of a very thin cardboard box. This is just a box you can probably find in your recycling bin. Um, these are just a freezer. This is a freezer bag box. You can use a cereal box. You can use a proper cardboard box if you want to. It's a little harder to cut, but it works as well. We also have glue. We have construction paper. I'm using blue because I want there to be a sky behind my monument. Um, I also have light green and dark green to make some grass. Um, if you want to get fancy, you can use some green yarn for your grass as well, or straw. Straw? What am I talking about? String, sorry. And then we have some markers right here. Um, if you would prefer to use uh, paint, you can go ahead and use paint. Um, I'm using marker to mix things up. <clears throat> I'm sure that people are running out of paint, and it's hard to get stuff right now. So let's use what we have. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my box, and the glorious thing about these boxes is that they're already folded. They already have a corner. As we know, a square has four corners. One, two, three, and four. So what I'm going to do is, since this box has a little cutout right there, I'm going to turn it so that that cutout is not um, facing me. It's facing away from me. And I'm going to cut off that entire half of the box. I'm going to leave some little flaps. I'll show you what I mean when I come back, okay? So you're going to cut off that side so that this little cutout doesn't pop out and leave you with nothing. All right, I will be right back. So I went ahead <clears throat> and cut cut my uh, cardboard box. So here we have one corner, and then I left about a half an inch um, of cardboard um, on the bottom so that I can glue it to my paper. Um, so you can go ahead and do this with paper if you'd like. If you'd like to, it to be more two-dimensional instead of three-dimensional, you'll go ahead and just draw this kind of shape on white or gray paper, color it in as you see fit, and then you would just glue that down to your um, your construction paper base. But um, here we have this, and it stands up like that. We're actually going to glue it down like this. We'll put glue on these flaps and glue it down like that. Um, I'm actually going to fold it the other way so I can color it just like this. And um, I will be back to show you how to make the point. So this is one of the ends that I cut off of my, um, my box. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing I did down here, but I'm going to keep the little flappies at the top, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and cut off the back and keep two little half-inch flaps on the back so that I can glue it down. I'll show you what I mean. All right, so right here I cut it so that I have the point right here. And then I have two flaps on the side, so it looks just like this. Um, but now I'm going to go ahead and cut it into a triangle. So I will be right back to show you how I do that. Okay, so basically I cut it into a big triangle, just like so. It's got a longer, a much longer bottom, but it's still, as you can see, it's still got these little flaps on the side. So I'm going to go ahead and flip this over so that the point comes from there and then I can color it gray if I want to. There we go. And there is the top of our Washington Monument. It's a little bendy right there, but I will fix that in a minute. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and color this with gray marker and I will be right back. So here I have colored my Washington Monument gray. I know the lighting's not super great and the marker doesn't look super great, um, but that's okay. So here you see I've colored my Washington Monument. I left the flaps that will be glued down. I left those clean. I did not color them. So right there you'll see what will be glued down and what will not. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and glue down my grass. So I'm going to go ahead and cut 
a strip, you can tell I use this piece of paper. Um, use what you have. Um, recycle stuff that you can use if you would like. Um, I'm going to go ahead and cut a nice strip of this right down so it fits the piece of my paper um, all the way down the bottom and I will be right back to show you that. All right, so there's where I placed my glue. And then unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put my camera down to go ahead and glue this. I don't have a tripod. Um, but I will be right back to show you how I ended up doing it. Okay, so here we have the um, majority of our monument. As you can see, the flaps have been folded under. That's where we had our glue. So I'm just kind of holding it here for a minute to let it dry. Um, if you have hot glue, that's probably your best option, or tape. Um, hot glue dries immediately, so um, you don't really have to like sit and hold it. Um, you could place something kind of uh, moderately weighted on top of this so that you don't have to hold it manually with your hands. Um, <clears throat> but as you can see, that 30 seconds right there pretty much has it in place. So now I'm going to go ahead and put this right on top. I'm going to do the same exact thing. So I've gone ahead and glued down the point of our monument, of our Washington Monument. As you can see right here, there is a little gap. Um, so if you have some tape, go ahead and tape that together. I will find some here in a moment to go ahead and do that for you guys so you have an accurate representation of this graft. Um, so there's our Washington Monument. From here, go ahead and cut construction paper clouds. You can use cotton balls if you have any, um, any craft ones around, or white pom-poms if you have craft pom-poms. You can use white glitter for the clouds. You could, um, again, like I said, you can use some green yarn or string or glitter to make the grass if you'd like. I'm going to go ahead and cut some white clouds out of construction paper, and I'm going to go grab that tape to touch up the the point of my monument. I will be right back, friends. Looked and looked and looked and looked for tape and I couldn't find any. So again, um, just to explain, you're just gonna go ahead and close those flaps so that they touch and make a corner like that. And just place a piece of tape right there over the middle to connect the two sides so that it closes, okay? So your Washington Monument will look something like that. I went ahead and cut out some white clouds out of construction paper, and then I made a cute little um, simple sign that says Washington Monument, Washington, D.C. Okay, um, so a little bit about this monument. It was created in honor of George Washington, our nation's first president, and it is located in Washington, D.C., um, that is the District of Columbia. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this unique project. Um, we used um, various materials and kind of got um, creative with our little, our little monument construction here. Got a little folding in there and cutting and all kinds of fun stuff. Um, so I hope you guys have fun, enjoy your craft, and uh, have a great day. Thanks.